Have you ever had a barrel laying around and didn't know what to do with it? Well, today we'll be displaying a creative recycling hack that will leave you astonished. First, we need to make sure it's a food-grade barrel, then clean it thoroughly. Avoid using it if the previous contents of the drum are unknown. The barrel will be completely unrecognizable before you know it. We start off by stripping off its paint and splitting it in half to create the door. This will definitely consist of a whole lot of welding, so always make sure your face is protected with glasses or a welding helmet like this guy. He knows exactly what he's doing as he creates the base frame and grill supports, followed by some wheels for easy transportation. This thing already looks enormous. Let's add a pipe for the exhaust system. It's all in the details, so we give the top of the pipe a cover in case it's pouring outside. Earlier we completed the bottom half of the barrel, and now let's go back to the top half, which will soon become the lid of the barbecue. We add stainless steel hinges on the side to keep both of the halves intact. The body is nearly completed for the grill, but we don't want to stop there. We are definitely going the extra mile to complete this thing. We'll add some foldable shelves to have a place to put our cooking materials. Well, we need some more welding to make these metal shelves, which will definitely prove to be sturdy as we add some rods right beneath them for support. Next, let's add a handle. A wooden dowel works just fine. Some may choose to skip this next step, but we'll add a thick coat of heat-resistant paint, which will add quite the aesthetic and also keep the barrel from rusting anytime soon. All the other accessories get a coat of chrome paint. Like we promised, it looks unrecognizable compared to the initial blue barrel we began with. Once the paint dries, we finish it off with air vents that can open and close as well as some beautiful orange shelves, giving it a pop of color. Let's not forget our thermometer gauge on top to state when the grill is hot enough. Okay, can we get this beast going? The only thing left now is to test it in a real-life barbecue situation. And we can easily say we're quite impressed with this barbecue. 